this time, here in this place, here we are standing face to face, here in our hearts, here in our lives, our God is here, here for the broken, here for the strong, here in this temple we belong. Here in our hearts, here in our lives, our God is here. And we cry, holy, holy, holy are you. And we cry, holy, holy, holy and true. Amen, we do believe our God is here. The Lord speaks of peace to his people and his holy ones and to those who turn to him. The name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And Amen. with your spirit. My dear brothers, my dear sisters, as we enter into this Eucharist, let us understand our God wants that we all should lay our life as a total surrender before God. God is able to accept only a surrender which is totally surrendered. If my and your surrender is an incomplete, then it may not be accepted before God. God wants that we may be able to surrender fully before God. Our life is a journey. In this journey, we will be able to attain the position that we all may be able to surrender fully to the Lord. For this grace, let us ask. And also, let us be sorry for all our shortcomings and our sins so that we may offer this Eucharist in a worthy manner. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy on us all. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us all. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us all. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us all. Lord, have mercy on us. Let us pray. Steer up the will of your faithful. We pray, O Lord, 
that striving more eagerly to bring your divine work to fruitful completion they may receive in greater measure the healing remedies your kindness bestows through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen, amen. none was found like daniel hanania misael and azaria a reading from the prophet daniel chapter 1 verses 1 to 6 and 8 to 20 in the third year of the reign of jerochahim king of juda nemuchadnezzar king of babylon came to jerusalem and besieged it and the lord gave jehoiakim king of juda into his hand with some of the vessels of the house of god and he brought them to the land of shinar to the house of his god and placed the vessels in the treasury of his god then the king commanded Ashpenaz his chief eunuch to bring some of the people of Israel both of the royal family and of the nobility youths without blemish of good appearance and skillful in all wisdom endowed with knowledge understanding learning and competent to stand in the king's palace and to teach them the literature and language of the chaldeans the king assigned them a daily portion of the food that the king ate and the wine that he drank at the end of that time they were to stand before the king among these were daniel hanania mishael and azaria of the tribe of juda But Daniel resolved that he would not defile himself with the king's food or with the wine that he drank. Therefore, he asked the chief of the eunuchs to allow him not to defile himself. And the god gave Daniel favor and compassion in the sight of the chief of the eunuchs, and the chief of the eunuchs said to Daniel, "I fear my lord the king, who has signed your food and your drink." for why should he see that you were in worse condition than the youths who are of your own age so you would endanger my head with the king then daniel said to the steward whom the chief of the eunuchs has assigned over daniel hanania mishael and azaria test your servants for 10 days let us be given vegetables to eat and water to drink then let our appearance and the appearance of the youths who eat the king's food be observed by you and deal with your servants according to what you see so he listened to them in this matter and tested them for 10 days at the end of 10 days it was seen that they were better in appearance and fatter in flesh than all the youths who ate the king's food so the steward took away their food and the wine they were to drink and gave them vegetables as for these four youths god gave them learning and skill in all literature and wisdom and daniel had understanding in all visions and dreams at the end of the time when the king had commanded that they should be brought in the chief of the eunuchs brought them in before nemuchadnezzar and the king spoke with them and among all of them none was found like daniel hanania mishael and azaria therefore they stood before the king and in every matter of wisdom and understanding about which the king inquired of them he found them 10 times better 
than all the magicians and enchanters that were in all the kingdom. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory and praise forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, God of our ancestors, and to be praised and highly exalted forever. And blessed is your glorious holy name, and to be highly praised and highly exalted forever. Glory and praise forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the shrine of your holy glory and to be extolled and highly glorified forever. Blessed are you who sits upon cherubim and looks upon the deeps and to be praised and highly exalted forever. Glory and praise forever, glory and praise forever. Blessed are you upon the throne of your kingdom, and to be extolled and highly exalted forever. Blessed are you in the firmament of heaven, and to be sung and glorified forever. Glory and praise forever, glory and praise forever. Please rise to welcome the gospel. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Stay awake and be ready. The Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Hallelujah, hallelujah. your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. Glory Glory to you, O Lord. He noticed a poor widow putting in two small coins. The Gospel of Saint Luke, chapter 21, verses 1 to 4. When Jesus looked up, he saw some wealthy people putting their offerings into the treasury and he noticed a poor widow putting in two small coins. He said, I tell you truly, this poor widow put in more than all the rest. For those others have all made offerings from their surplus wealth. But she, from her poverty, has offered her whole livelihood. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Lord Jesus Jesus Christ. My dear brothers, my dear sisters, today, through the Gospel, our Loving God is asking us to make a complete surrender. Wherever people are not ready to make a a complete surrender, a total surrender, they all have to undergo a lot of pain in their life. We can see In the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 18, verse 18 onwards, St. Luke speaks about a 
a young rich man who came to Jesus and asked Jesus, Lord, what shall I do in order to inherit eternal life? And Jesus asked this boy to follow all the commandments. And he said, I do it from my young days. Then looking at this guy, Jesus said, you have something lacking. Go and sell all your property and distribute among the poor and then come and follow me. And the gospel writes, he became very sad. This is a problem for everyone who are not ready to make a total surrender. If we don't make a total surrender, sadness will be attacking us all the time. This young rich man, Jesus asked him for a total surrender and he was not ready. Because he was not ready, from the young days onwards, this boy is tormented with the sadness. And he want to overcome that so that he came to Jesus. But since he was not ready to overcome, not ready to make a total surrender, he was not able to come out from that. The next chapter. Luke present another man called Zacchaeus. He also is a very rich man. And because of his richness, he even bought the chief tax collector's office. Such a wealthy man wanted to see Jesus. And Jesus went into his house and stayed with him. When Jesus stayed with that man, this man has got a realization. Jesus is more than all the wealth he has got. So, that night, this man made a total surrender to Jesus and next morning, he made a declaration. I will share half of my property with the poor. I will give back to everyone from whom I defrauded money fourfold. That means this man is going to leave all his wealth for the poor people and for others. Thus this man made a complete surrender and Jesus told that man, today salvation has come upon this house. He became very happy. The happiness which he lost for a long time in his life returned into his life when he made a complete surrender. The same thing we find in the first reading today we have seen Daniel and Ananias, Michelle and Azaria, four Jewish boys. They have been chosen into the court and they have been served royal food so that the king wanted to use these guys for put them in charge of the provinces of his country. And these guys, they does not want to eat any pagan food. They want to eat only the food of the people of God. So they decided we will abstain from all royal food and all hot drinks. 
and they surrendered them before God and the purpose of the Lord that God has called them. And they requested the eunuch, don't give us the royal food. But only you give which and water. We will be longer the water. And it happened. When the king came to test all his candidates, these four Jewish people, Jewish boys were found to be much, much, much better than all other Chaldeans. Today, the gospel, Jesus appreciated the widow who put two copper coins. There were so many other rich people put in the treasury of the temple silver and gold coins and Jesus never appreciated them because they contributed to the temple out of their surplus wealth. From the abundance of their wealth but this poor widow she has no more anything else she has got only two copper coins and even the two copper coins she was ready to renounce for the sake of God and made a complete surrender dear brother dear sister this woman started to experience the providence of the Lord in an immense measure. Wherever there is a complete surrender, there will be happiness and there will be the providence of the Lord will come upon that person in an immense measure. Let us pray that we also may enter into a total surrender. are you, Lord, God of all creation. Thanks to your goodness, this bread we offer, fruit of the earth, work of our hands, it will become the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed be God's, blessed be God's forever, amen. Blessed be God, blessed be God, blessed be God forever, amen. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Let us pray. Accept, O Lord, the sacred offerings, which at your bidding we dedicate to your name, and in order that through these gifts we may become worthy of your love. Grant us unfailing obedience to your commands through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. 
Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, his death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save, Save us, Savior of the world, for, for by your cross and, and resurrection you, you have, have set us free. free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, George, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ.
through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours for ever and ever amen. amen at the savior's command formed by divine teaching we dare to say our, our father, father who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who set your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let's offer each other the sign of peace Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world grant us peace Behold the lamp of God behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those called to the supper of the lamb lord i am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed may the body and blood of christ keep us safe for eternal life amen act of spiritual communion my jesus i believe that you are truly present in the most holy sacrament i love you above all things and i desire earnestly to receive you into my soul since i cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come spiritually into my heart i embrace you as you are already there in my heart i unite myself wholly to you never permit me to be separated from you amen sing praises to your name oh lord i sing praises to your name oh lord i sing praises to your name oh lord i sing praises to your name your name is great and greatly to be praised for your name is great and greatly to be praised for his merciful love towards us is great let us pray we pray almighty god that those to whom you give the joy of participating in divine mysteries 
may never be parted from you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go and share the love of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. to Mary, sing my soul her praises due, all her feasts, her actions honor, with the heart's devotion true, lost in wandering contemplation, be her majesty confessed, call her mother, call her virgin, happy mother, virgin blessed, Ave, Ave. Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave.